Hi everyone, this is me, Roseanne. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been online for quite some time. Um, I've been having a couple of um, issues with my um, uh, procedure that I had done. So, <clears throat> uh, just when I feel like I'm getting past it, I, it, I get pushed back to start all over again. So those of you that have been following me and watching me know that I had surgery. Um, and uh, it hasn't been good, guys. Uh, my surgery um, has not uh, been in my favor. It has been successful, but there has been some uh, downfalls. So anywho, enough of that. I wanted to come on here because I created something. Because um, whenever I do feel okay, uh, I miss crafting. I miss um, doing stuff. And when I can't sleep especially, um, I was crafting in my living room. And I made a couple of albums, which I'll probably show um, the next time I come on. But... Um, I've been going through some of my hoard, <clears throat> and um, I love Prima. Prima is <clears throat> one of my favorites, and so is um, um, Graphic Forty Five. There's a there's a couple of Graphic Forty Fives that I like as well. But anyways, um, let's get started on when I what I created. But before I do that, um, I received this really cute, uh, envelope for, um, Valentine's and it's from Sharon from chic to chic here on YouTube. She just, uh, sent me a cute little happy Valentine's day. Love Sharon. Um, and I thought that was super cute. And, um, I was totally surprised when I got it. I did reach out to her. <clears throat> And she sent me a couple of Valentine's, um, a couple of Valentine's die cuts. And I believe she probably made this, which was really pretty. Galentine's. I like that die, Sharon, if you're watching. And I see she used another die back here. Um, that die I just purchased not too long ago as well. But I don't know if it's the same one. But anyways, this is adorable. Thank you so much. Um, for thinking of me, um, that was really nice of you. I appreciate that. So, <clears throat> let's get started on what I created. So, I watched a tutorial on Put a Bling on It. And um, she had a tutorial on um, this box here. Now, this box she created, I added a shaker on top. Um, she created for cards to go inside. Um, and, uh, that's kind of what I created it for as well. Um, I put, uh, hello here. I put a flower that I had in my stash. This collection is Prima and it is called Flora, Flora, I think. Let me see. What did I do with my craft room was a disaster and I came in and cleaned it up when I was feeling okay. It's called Flirty Floral. And I got this on a D stash. I think I got this from Kim Impossible. <clears throat> so I put it to use. I had gotten all the goodies to go with it. So some of the goodies that, you know, the ephemera that came with it, I wasn't too keen on. It wasn't uh, my favorite, but I did add, this was a, a flower in my stash, and I wanna send this out to somebody um, for Easter, cause I still haven't found my Easter paper yet. So I just did with what I had. Um, I'm not really driving anywhere. It's not really, I'm not really going out, you know, places or anything like that. I did do some hauls online, um, but nothing huge. But anyways, oh, look, this just popped off. Um, 
so I used that paper and I watched the tutorial on put a bling on it to create this box and it's really um, a cute box and uh, you can use it for several different things not just cards but I went ahead and um, put some cards in it I put hello on the side I put this flower that I had this flower that I had I took it apart this was inside that and um, I kind of used it in both and then I just added what I wanted to this flower here um, and then I did a shaker and I added some uh, ephemera in there with the ephemera that I had and I did some flowers and then I did some seam binding and I just basically did the whole box in that beautiful paper I just think the paper so pretty but anyways, let's get inside. So inside, this box opens as two sides here. Let me take this off because I just glued that. Um, and on, put a bling on it, she had cards on one side and she had envelopes on another. So <clears throat> I did the envelopes and cards all in one. And the person that's getting this will have some cards of think, thinking of you, you're in my thoughts, and then I just lined them with paper inside. Um, hello, and thanks. And then I made the envelopes, which the person can also use the envelope that goes with it, or if they don't want to do that, they can also use whatever that envelope's here. They all match because it's all the same paper line. So I made the four envelopes and put a bling on it shows you the measurements on our channel. She shows you, um, she used the envelope maker um, and she shows you how to make, you know, the right size for this style of box. So the cards are on one end and then I had started creating uh, this for, um, I started creating this for Valentine's. And then uh, I kind of put it aside and didn't get back into it. Uh, I got this um, tutorial to make this little folio from Strawberry, uh, Strawberry Cream, I think it's her channel's name, Strawberry Cream. Um, and uh, I used the ephemera for that. I put some butterflies in here. This has a pocket on here as well to stick something in there. This is another uh, little flowers that I created. Um, when the person gets them, they can pull them up, like fold them up. Um, on this one, I didn't add anything because I did make some stuff, but it didn't really fit. Um, and I'll show you that other stuff I made. This, I just put a little note in there. And then this, I made some two ephemera pieces and then also here is an envelope so I made that for this side and I like the way it came out it came out pretty cute um, and then uh, on top of that I created um, I got this idea from Mrs. Cooper here on YouTube Mrs. Cooper's Coop Muriel hi Muriel if you're watching um, this is a, a gift card holder and you can put the gift card inside there and uh, I thought this was a cute uh, she also got it from somebody else on her channel and she linked the person below and I went and I followed um, and uh, I think this came out really cute as well um, it's a little sticky on this side so I think I'm going to add a little glue here um, I did use sticky tape, but I think I'm going to add a little glue here instead because it seems to be not sticking properly. So let me put that there. And this is happy birthday. So I thought that was cute. So I created that. Um, and then um, I created this to go inside but it didn't really fit. So I made these butterflies and like, again, the person that gets these can pull them up because they're double. So you can uh, make them three dimensional. 
and I just used a punch out from um, EK Success Hearts because the ephemera that this collection came with, I wasn't my favorite, so I kind of did my own. Um, I created this card for the person that they can use again. Um, and then I just wrote a little note inside. Um, and I also created this. Now, I don't remember the name of the lady that I followed for this, but there was a tutorial on there. I'm sure if you put flip calendar tutorial, it'll pop up. She goes into detail step by step, step just like put a bling on it did. Um, and I created this calendar. Um, and this is the perfect size calendar for somebody's desk. So I put, uh, I stamped this out with the stamp that I got, um, probably in one of my D stashes. And I did decorate each page. And how it does is it stands up like this. So there's a, a tutorial on this as well. And um, I'll show you through page by page. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. And December and this part here I just left blank you know the, the girl that did this left this black but I didn't want to leave it just black and plain but here is the stand up that hat allows you to have the calendar stand up so she goes into detail on how to create this as well so I created that and the um, Cardstock was 110. No, I believe it was 65 or 110. I don't remember. Maybe it was 65. Might have been 65. So um, this, uh, I forget what this is called. The chipboard that I used was a cereal box. So it doesn't need to be very thick. So I created this, and this is also gonna go in the box with that as well. And then there's two other goodies that I'm sticking in there. Those are food goodies. Um, so I'm gonna pack this up, and I'm gonna probably put some shred in here um, and send it off so that this person can get it way in advance for Easter because the only thing I have for Easter are these stickers that I ordered last year and I don't have anything else Easter I don't know where my Easter stuff is and I don't want to buy any until I find it so this is the second year that I can't craft Easter because I don't have um, my Easter paper so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put some shred in here and then I'll seal it up and send it off but that's what I created um, I had a fun time doing so. Um, I hope the person that receives this really enjoys it and uses it to their best, um, to their best, uh, you know, a quick card uh, and uh, a calendar so they can use. So hopefully they enjoy it because I enjoyed creating it for them. And um, that's all I have for to show you today. All right. Take care, everyone. Um, be safe out there. Thank you for watching, and thank you for those that have stuck with me through this journey that I'm going through right now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.